Trivandrum and this is the first time of me in Trivandrum as a tourist. I have been here as a student for 5 years and I had never explored the city as a tourist. So today the plan is to go around randomly to different places, the touristy places, the historical places and have some good food and have a good day. So let's start. So right now I am at Zamzam Bun Cafe. So this is a very good place to have breakfast and I am starting off the day and the vlog with this one and uh, they serve amazing dishes and it's near Waimar Junction in Trivandrum, near Nathan Kodu. Very very hungry because I haven't had anything since morning and it's almost 12 o'clock so let's go inside and have a heavy brunch and then we'll go forward and explore some other places in the city. So this is the butter cookie bun with ice milk at Zamzam Bun Cafe and if you're coming here this is a must try. This is their speciality and it's really amazing. This really tastes amazing and especially as the ice cream. It melts into the bun, into the butter cookie bun and it makes it sweet and soft and more delicious. I mean, it's heavenly. Anurachya. This is the interior of the restaurant. It's nice. Over there is the desert and cake section. This is the creamy chicken sandwich. They have split it into four pieces and I think there is cream inside, cheese and chicken. The Zamzam Bun Cafe, it was an accidental discovery. So a few steps from here there is another cafe called Drunken Monkey. So one Sunday I was coming here with my friends and then we found that the Drunken Monkey was closed. So I looked on Google at what's the closest cafe to it and then we discovered the Zamzam Bun Cafe. We had very low expectations because Zamzam is usually famous for uh, Middle Eastern Arabic food. So we didn't expect the, the cafe and the, you know the continental and oriental dishes to be so good but it was really amazing and it really exceeded our expectations. So I often used to come here when I was in college and now that I have come for convocation I decided to visit here for one last time. Also this was again not our first preference. We had two other restaurants in mind but ultimately none of them were open so we had to come here. It's extremely affordable and cheap and the food quality is really amazing given the uh, price. So I'm looking on the other side because I'm waiting for my Uber auto. So let's see when it comes. So the next destination will be Napier Museum which is one of the most famous tourist spots in Europe. So let's go and let's explore. But I really love traveling and it's really surprising that I've never gone around Sri Vandana as a tourist. But it is what it is. But today I've got the chance finally. Zoo, they are in the same campus in premises and this is what looks like it's pretty busy and we have to go forward straight and then we'll find a ticket counter structures are pretty interesting especially this one and it's quite a beautiful weather today not very sunny otherwise it's too hard to walk in this strong sun 30 and i'm in a bit of hurry because I have a ticket of a movie from 2.30 so I don't want to miss that and the movie hall is 2-3 uh, kilometers from here so let's see if we can make both in time Hmm 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 Mistake, I brought the ticket for the zoo instead of the one for the museum so right now I'm heading towards the museum I don't yeah yeah now I can see there is one signboard with Nibia Museum but so right now I'm going in towards the museum the entire day and suddenly it became very very sunny so I think this is the main museum building right behind me let's see let's try and go inside 
I think there is another ticket counter here. Buy another ticket and this one is for the museum separately. So the entrance is here. So let's see. It suddenly became very sunny and I'm sweating and I'm, I just really got tired all of a sudden. The one? Uh, cheetah, I don't speak Malayalam. No, no, please don't touch exports inside. Okay, okay. Photography is allowed. Okay. some compilations of videos and clips for you inside and there's a royal dressing table so it was really amazing definitely worth the 30 rupees but also you can visit one suchitra enclave with this ticket it's an art gallery so you can go there if you want so let's say uh, it's almost two o'clock i don't think i'll have time to go anywhere else now uh, probably i'll head out saw so one bus that is parked and it has been transformed into some kind of a souvenir shop so I think I will go inside that and let's check. Okay, this is a bus that had been converted into a souvenir shop. Not actually a souvenir shop, it's more like a bookshop. But most of the books are written in Malayalam, so there's no point in me buying one. There is one another museum inside this uh, aquarium of this uh, this building. I think I suppose this is the aquarium because this is the uh, images of several fishes sc sculpted on the body of the building. So there is one museum inside, and there is also the Suchitra enclave. But I'll not have time to visit either because it's almost two ten. So I think. I should head over for the movie, lest I should miss it. I think today has been a good day so far, but nothing has gone according to plan at the same time. So, our initial plan was to go to one restaurant, one hotel called Good Morning Hotel for breakfast, but that one got closed for breakfast and it would open only at 12.30 and we reached there at 11. So, uh, we had to leave that place and we, had to, we decided to go to another place that was called, uh, I think, high range restaurant and takeaway or something like that the name was something similar so we decided to go there but that shop was that, that restaurant was closed as well so finally we had to go to this Zamzam Ban cafe this cafe is amazing but I wanted to try something new on my last day out in Trivana but never mind the food has been amazing 
and it has been very filling. I drank two cups of tea and I had uh, this half of a bun, uh, a butter cookie bun with ice milk and I also had one chicken cheese sandwich which was also delicious. So now it's time for the movie almost. I'm waiting for the Uber auto. Let's see when it comes and then I'll go to the movie. So guys, we are back to another restaurant after an amazing matinee show. It was an amazing, amazing movie. I am not going to disclose what movie I watched. But I want you guys who are watching till now to guess it in the comment section below. And now we are in another restaurant. Uh, it is a restaurant come cafe. The, the ground floor is a cafe and the first floor is a restaurant. So the cafe is named Panka. And we came here because we were referred by a friend that this place sells amazing fish items. So we are trying something like it's kind of an early dinner. So let's fill our belly and then we will go back to campus. By the way, it's needless to say I got the side by the window. I mean the chair, the seat by the window and the view outside is pretty cute. This is the foliage a bit more and I think you can see the cafe there downstairs. Well, I had an amazing early dinner here at Pankaya. The food was really amazing and it's cooked in the local style, in the local Kerala style. We had a fish curry and we had a prawn starter and we also had one egg salad and it was really really tasty especially the fish curry i did not expect it this week to be so good and if you love south indian cuisine and even if you love north indian cuisines like i mean like Bengali cuisines like chingri machar malai curry and bhapa ilish i definitely recommend you to have this one i'll i'll i forgot the name i'll put the name down here in the screen The ambience of this restaurant, cafe, it's so amazing, it's so beautiful. So guys, that's it for this video, which was about my first day as a tourist in Trivandrum, on my last day in Trivandrum, in general. And that's it for this video. So if you did like the video, please like, share, subscribe and comment and share it to as many people as possible. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.